Hello everyone, welcome back to ATP Creative Corner. In today's video, I am making this grocery bag. This is a medium size bag. You can increase the length and make a large size bag as well. Before we begin, please hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Now let's get started. To make the template, I've taken a sheet with dimension 16 inches across 18 inches. Next, I'm going to fold it in half like this. Next, I'm going to mark a point 4 inches from the top left corner like this. Another point 6 inches from this point like this. Next, I'm going to draw a straight line from this point towards the folded side like this. Now I am going to draw a curved line joining these two straight lines like this. I will cut along this line. And our template is ready now. To make a larger bag you can increase the length keeping the width same. Now using the template I have cut two pieces of the main fabric and two pieces of the lining fabric. First, I am going to place both the pieces of the main fabric with their right sides facing each other like this. And I will give straight stitch here. I will repeat the same steps for the lining pieces as well. Now it's done. Next, I am going to place the lining piece with its right sides facing upwards like this. And I will place the main fabric with its right sides facing downwards like this. I am using sewing clips to keep them in place. Now I will give a stitch around this oval shape. Now it's done. I am going to give notch marks around this oval shape like this. Next I am going to turn the right side of the fabric outwards like this. Next, I am going to give top stitch here. Top stitch is done. Now, I will start rolling it from one side like this until I reach the other side. On the other side, I am going to place the main fabric and the lining fabric such that their right sides are facing each other like this. I am using sewing clips to keep them in place like this. I will give a straight stitch on this side. Once done it looks something like this. Next I am going to pull the right side of the fabric outwards from here like this. You can see here both the fabric are joined together with no raw edges. Next I am going to join the fabric on the other side. So I will start rolling the fabric from the opposite side like this until I reach this side. And now I am going to place the main fabric and the lining fabric such that they are one on top of the other like this. I am using sewing clips to keep them in place like this. Now 
and I'll give a straight stitch on this side. Now it's done. Now I'll pull the right side of the fabric outwards like this. You can see no raw edges on this side as well. Next I'm going to turn the fabric with its lining part upwards like this and I'm going to fold the handle part in half like this. And I'll give a straight stitch here. Similarly on the other side as well. Now it's done. Now I'll turn the fabric again such that its main fabric is on the top like this and I'm going to fold it in half like this. Next I'm going to mark a point 13 inches from the bottom corner like this. Now I'll give a straight stitch from this point towards the end of the fabric. I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Once done it will look something like this. Now I'll turn the bag right side out like this. Now on the sides you can see the fabric folded 2 inch inwards like this on both the sides. Once the fabric is arranged neatly like this, I'll give a straight stitch here. Now it's done. Now I'm going to trim the quarter inch seam allowance in half like this. Now I'll pull the lining part outwards like this. Here you can find fabric folds on both the sides similar to this. I'm going to get the corners out completely like this on both the sides. Once the fold is placed neatly, I'm going to give a stitch with quarter inch seam allowance. Now the raw edges on the right side is going to get trapped in this seam allowance now it's done so the raw edges on the right side is going to be sealed with this stitch now i'll turn the right side of the bag outwards You can see here there are no raw edges. And we have around 4 inch width on the sides. And our grocery bag is ready now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.